Now, welcome to part two of uh, basic problems in integration. We dealt with all this. Unfortunately, we were able to resolve all of the problems. Now we are dealing with part two. So we have one, two, three, four problems for part two, and then we will deal with uh, part three. We will go to fundamental theorem of calculus part four, and we will go to part five. So all of these are just basic problems, nothing more. So in the second part, we have a problem. Let me copy this. The integral of x cos x dx. This is what we want to find. So if you want to solve this problem uh, using the Leate, this is algebraic, this is uh, trigonometric. So u is going to be equals to this. So u equals x uh, du equals dx. I will assume you understand this from the part one tutorial that we did and do not forget to share like and subscribe please and before you can deal with part two please go and watch our tutorial on part one so v prime is the integral of cos x dx so that v is what is the integral of course that is sine very good apply the formula for integration by parts we dealt with this in video tutorial one so we have x times sine x minus uh, sine x times du my du is equals to dx and then i'm having um x sine x minus what is the integral of sine that is negative cos so this is x sine x plus cos x plus c just a basic problem that everybody can solve be that as it may let's go to the second one the integral of x squared e 3x dx so uh, I know that I can differentiate this and I can integrate that. I know this, but I'm having an algebraic and an exponential. So if I let this be u, I can integrate that also. So let me allow this to be u because it's an algebraic versus an exponential so u is x squared du it's 2x dx v prime e 3x dx and v will be now listen carefully here you say to yourself what is uh, the integral of e to the exponent of x it is e to the exponent of x so you will write e write this uh, exponent 3x then say to yourself what is the derivative of 3 to expo what is the derivative of 3x the answer is 3 so you divide that by 3 so this becomes one third very important uv minus v du u is x squared v one third e 3x uh, one third e three x o d u it's two x d x one third x squared e three x factor this out but before you factor out you have to multiply by one third which is two thirds i'm factoring two thirds out the integral of x you will be left with x e three x d x if you say two thirds and you factor that out, you are left with x e three x dx. And then uh, the exponent was two. Now the exponent is one. Therefore, we are correct. Let's apply integration by parts the second time on this one. So um, u still going to be x du equals dx. V prime the integral of this and v will be we already know this one third e three x apply the formula 
u v v d u um u is x one third e this minus one third what is your d u your d u is your d x one third x e three x factor this out uh, e three x d x one third x e three x minus one third i know the integral of this one third e three x one third x e three x minus one over nine e three x now remember what where we were we said okay we didn't know what this is remember we wanted to find this we already had this so we already had one third x squared e three x minus two over three so where we see this we're writing the whole of this so one third x e three x minus one over nine e three x and we have one third x squared e three x minus two over nine x e three x plus this is two two over twenty seven um e three x plus c and that becomes the final answer for this problem 1 over 3x squared e 3x minus 2 over 9x e 3x plus 2 over 27 e 3x plus c and then the other problem is the integral of ln of the absolute value of x dx now this can be rewritten because there's a one there as the integral of one times ln of x dx so i know how to differentiate this and i know how to integrate that so u equals ln x du 1 over x dx v prime is the integral of 1 dx and v is x u v minus v du uh, ln x times x minus x times du 1 over x dx x ln x minus uh, this and this goes once the integral of 1 dx this is the same as x ln x minus x plus c because the integral of 1 is x and i am done so this was a very very quick problem to do i'm not i'm very sorry if i'm moving fast you'll have to pause the video try and ponder and practice all this so let's look at the integral of e exponent x sine x dx haven't we dealt with this no i don't think so so what we can do from here I have exponential and trigonometric. So, the leate, I have a trigonometric and an exponential. So, I'm going to allow this to be u. In fact, let me not allow this to be u. Or should I do that? Okay, that's fine. Uh, let me say u equals sine x so that du the derivative of sine is cos and v prime will be the integral of this and v will be exactly that because the derivative of this is this therefore the integral of this is this u v v du sine x e x minus e x cross x dx okay i'm having e x sine x uh, i have to deal with this 
can you see I will have to deal with this okay that's fine I can deal with this uh, so looking at the integral of e x cos x dx so my u will have to be cos x so that my du the derivative of cos is negative sine x dx v prime e x and v is e x sorry to forget to write the integral sign there um u v minus v du cos x uh e x minus e x what is the your du minus sine x dx e x cos x negative by negative is a positive uh e x sine x dx I'm, i started with this and i'm ending with that therefore you stop so meaning this the integral of e x sine x dx is equals to what now remember i have this e x sine x minus and where i see this i'm going to write the whole of this e x cos x plus the integral of e x sine x dx so this is e x sine x minus e x cos x minus the integral of e x sine x dx so you have this with a one this with a minus one when it goes to that side it becomes two and you're dividing everything by two so the integral of e x sine x dx equals if you divide this by two it will be one half e x sine x divide by two minus one half e x cos x plus c your answer for this so one half e x sine x minus one half e x cos x plus c and we are done with part two